What's up, family? Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> so, listen, I actually didn't have anything for you guys today. Um, this is not normally my uh, posting time. It's past lunch. I just didn't have anything on my heart. And so, I didn't decide to make a video <laughs> but here I am uh, because God spoke to me earlier and I am excited because it doesn't happen all the time and I know that the more you draw close to him the more that you will hear from him and a lot of the times in life we are just so distracted and um, I really you know you just learn to appreciate the times that he does speak to you because um, they don't happen a lot, a lot for me, um, but when they do, I'm very, uh, just so appreciative and I get excited, um, and it just, I don't know, it gets me pumped, no matter what it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, so, I was watching, um, I came back from lunch, I was sitting down, I was doing some work, and I always listen to, um, things, um, in my earphones while I'm making calls and things like that, and I had, um, clicked on uh, Katie Dids. Um, she had a, or she just made a video and she was explaining how one of her dreams were basically coming to pass. Um, anybody who hasn't seen that video, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, she had a dream back in April and uh, it's it's so cool. Um, any, any of you guys that have not checked it out, just go ahead and check it out. But um, she was basically describing like the things that had happened in the dream and how they were basically relatable to the things that are going on now basically within the YouTube community and within the body of Christ and um, y'all actually I just like ran out to my car to make this video literally he just spoke to me uh, but I just ran out to my car because I, I was filming my in my car because I'm not bothered by anybody but I didn't start my car up so it's kind of hot um okay there I had to open up my door so anyways I'm sitting there listening to her video and all of a sudden God um, or Holy Spirit just completely put it into my spirit um, and I got so excited but basically in a nutshell he said that there are no clicks in heaven and because Katie did was talking about how there's so many um, like people on YouTube um, that are coming against the grace preachers and teachers how they're basically saying that you know we're just telling people to say a quick prayer and that they can go back and live in sin or live however they want and that it's greasy grace or whatever um, but and you know and all of a sudden I started thinking man there are like it's all over YouTube in the Christian community there's clicks everywhere it's like it's like high school and it's <laughs> It's like you got the one click over here and like you got a click over here and it was literally crazy how I, I wasn't even like I wasn't in the word or anything I was just listening to Katie did's video and he put it right there into my spirit that there are no clicks in heaven and I started to think about it and like you know it's so true and um, I see it within the Christian community here on YouTube and it's like the second that somebody sees you over on somebody's channel who isn't in the click it, it's like an issue and I can see it there's so many people that are holding on to grudges and they are not making peace with people they are not forgiving they are not extending an olive branch because that's not your click and let me just make it really clear to you guys because he just made it very clear to me so you guys take it how you want it <laughs> um, there were no clicks um, maybe with other people um, in Jesus's time when he walked on this earth and he was ministering to people they might have had clicks but with Jesus there were no clicks he didn't treat people like that if if somebody you know came against him and said whatever no matter what there were no clicks and Jesus um, was all about making peace and and loving and um, and eating and drinking with people who people would look at him and say what is he what is he doing with them like why is he in there with them that don't make no sense and um, and then it's like he just had he 
completely put it in my spirit. And of course that's a no brainer, but he spoke to me just a second ago. Oh, excuse me, a second ago. There are no clicks in heaven. So when we get there between the body of Christ, everybody in heaven, we're gonna be eating with, with each other and uh, drinking and marrying and having fun and whatever we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing it together. So, um, you know, I like I told you guys before, I don't know who is a Pharisee and who is not, who's really saved, who is not. Only God can judge somebody's heart and know um, who is saved. And um, so I just encourage you guys that if you are... Um, How do I say it? Um, if there's anybody that maybe you um, have not had good words with or you feel like you're not on good terms with them or whatever, all this drama going on, extend an olive branch and um, make peace with that person. Because you know, sometimes I'll go and visit a channel and I'll listen to um, things that they say and they may actually even be people who have come against me um, but do as Jesus would and go to that person and just try to make peace. Um, because the last thing that you want to do is hang on to angerness and bitterness and, um, and have unforgiveness in your heart. Um, because, you know, it's, it's what Jesus would do. He would try to make peace and, um, and love on that person. You know, it's, it's all over it's it's everywhere you see it there's clicks everywhere and people are condemning others and it's like well if you're not with this click you know you can't sit at this table and that's not how it should be because that's not how it's gonna be in heaven and um, I know that there are some people who have been seeing me on other channels who maybe in the past have come against me or whatever it is but um, you know I have been able to take from so many different people no matter who you are I've watched so many different videos um, and just have followed different people and got things from them and it, even people that some would call Pharisees um, but you know I just I wanted to come out here and just let you guys know that he, he spoke to me and so that there are no clicks in heaven and that is so true um, so I just feel like we need to rise up and um, stop acting like high schoolers <laughs> because that's a, what a lot of people are acting like right now um, and just make peace and forgive and let go and let's all just let I know this all sounds like cliche stuff we throw these words around all the time but really let it sink in um, show love and, and grace to other people and um, forgiveness and um, just be nice to people and you know don't don't put yourself in a click um, you know extend yourself to anyone and everyone and you know clearly um, there are people you know that have come against me in the past that are not Christians they're actual like atheists and stuff like that you know I'm not gonna extend keep extending myself out to them but I see um, that there's there's bickering and clicks within the actual um, within the actual body of Christ the believers and it's it shouldn't be that way and Jesus literally spoke to me as I was listening to Katie did's video and he said there are no clicks in heaven and he's not happy with this guys so um, I promise you guys this is what I was just given take it how you want it take it to the Lord in prayer and ask him to examine your heart um, and to um, just to convict you in areas that need fixing and just ask him to like I said examine your heart and uh, and maybe he will I don't know reveal things to you but uh, I just wanted to give you guys that because um, it's just man it's so important to just let all that stuff go and let's just all come together and uh, do what we are called to do and that is spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and let go of all the little tiny things and um, and, and that's it there are no clicks in heaven that's what the Lord spoke okay all right love you guys